action to do what is expected from each of them so that this young generation may grow, develop as good loving and as good citizens. Let us pray.
school management to encourage boys to sit. You see, in the church, the men are there putting down their heads. Because in school they were not given opportunity to develop their courage and their talent. Thank you, teacher in charge of music. And you see these young girls who have been young boys who have been conducting. That is excellent. That's what we need from our young people. And now I bless you. Please stand. Have I blessed you? Now you go in peace.
I put this duty to you in the name of God. Proclaim the message of the integral Christian way of living. Welcome or unwelcome, insist in it. Refute falsehood. Falsehood ways of living. Go with those who do the right thing. Your work with them should be enlightened by the gospel. Be peaceful. I'm sure they don't teach here only intellectual excellences of knowledge, but also people who are peaceful. What is expected of me? How should I do it? Not in the theory, but in the practice. And some of these are the people I've seen, leaders, teachers, president leaders, now these conducting the choir. They are big things. And such people will be needed anytime, anywhere. May God bless you for that. <laughs> this means patience. Because these young people, they come from different back, family backgrounds. Some really may be demand too much. Let them be exemplary in the way of living. But do all with patience, with the intention of being exemplary by the way you live. By the way you live. A candle is not lit and they put it under a bushel, but it is, put, it, is put, it is put on a stand so that it can give light to all. My impression is that these students are being well groomed. The question is, dear students, when you leave this school, will you continue the intellectual and the human information and the Christian information which you are getting from the school. Don't just do things to please the teacher. But you should know why do they tell me to do A, B, C. And they do it with conviction. That's how students should do. That's why, why how also, in the case I become an adult, I should relate with my neighbor. I should carry out my job, my duty to God, and to my neighbor. Then you will be getting integral formation from the school. The founders are doing their best. Of that, I have no doubt. Now, for this school, 10, ten years only, I congratulate the founder and your co workers. And you continue that. In Uganda, we say, Nasi wa mukange, Nasi wa mukabuku. This is what I see, what I do here. And if you students do that, then the future is bright. Now, St. Mark report. What did Jesus Christ say? This is parable is very important for you, students, and for the parents. A trader was looking for wealth. It is never the place where there was maybe gold. Went back home, sold all what he had and bought that piece of land. And then he started bringing out gold. I became very rich. Now, knowledge is a hidden treasure. Hidden treasure. You students cooperate with your teachers, with your formators. 
attempts to have would like it to be patient. Later on, you will say thank you to the teacher. Your parents make a lot of sacrifice to put you in school. You may find that in the family you are seeing children in senior secondary school. You know, through that is Please, open it and you will never regret. Prepare attitude, your attitude positively. Our Lord gave you a parable of a, a sower. He came out to sow. And as he was going, some seeds fell along the way. And the birds came and ate them. That was the end of it. Some fell along the road. Again, birds ate them. Some fell among briars or thorns. Happy are those who are called to his supper. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting.
he says to this institution. Allow me, our dear chief guest, once again, to thank you for honoring our invitation. I want to pray to our parents and all the stakeholders of this school that we shall consolidate our achievements of the past 10 years and use them to drive this school to even greater heights. Once again, our dear visitors, in all your respective capacities, I want to thank you for coming, stay safe, and I wish you genuine when the time comes to go back home. Before I end, in a very special way, I want to introduce my father, Mr. Kasumba Emmanuel. Muzei Kasumba Nkusaba, Osemereka Wali Bishop Akulabeko, Akwenu Mkisobu Enjaulo. Thank you.